Hello, my name's Adrian. I'm a teacher from a school in Western Australia, um, CBC Fremantle. CBC is a Christian Brothers College um, in the Edmund Drys tradition and um, I'm here in Peru on a school immersion. We have taken a group of old boys or past students um, along to Peru. Last year I was here um, with a school from Sydney and experienced the amazing hospitality by Fael Agria. Um, we came to Peru, we helped build a house and this year we've brought in old boys to our college so we've got people who, one student who one man who graduated in 1968 and we've got a boy graduated to last year so we've got a good range of people and we've been touched by the hospitality not only fail agria but by the spirit of the peruvian people we've helped build two houses and uh, but the community has given us so much more and it's been a wonderful experience so basically for me i mean firstly such an opportunity to have to come to somewhere where you'd never come by yourself really for me um, and basically firstly I mean to see something completely different to what I've ever seen before so coming to Peru um, and basically obviously staying with the, the brothers in the house with our community and CBC and having that Edmund Rice connection it was something I know I loved, loved the school so I came over um, to learn a whole a whole new a whole new world really so I mean seeing everything in the last last five six days um, has really brought to fruition I mean what I came to actually why I came to get out of my comfort zone to see things I've never seen before um, and basically yeah see what these people really value in their life and what gives them joy and then bring myself back to basics with I mean how I can get better and basically that's what they've given me so far how I've come to Peru I've learned a hell of a lot from them and I mean hopefully I'm giving something back um, but that's the main reason I came to Peru, just the opportunity. I, um, I knew, I work at CBC Fremantle in communications, so I knew a little bit about um, immersions and Peru, uh, working with Adrian, so he would talked to me quite a bit about it and I'd seen photos of when he was here last year. So I knew in theory, in my head, but actually coming here and experiencing in my heart was a completely different thing. Um, and to see the people and how beautiful they are um, was just really huge and it's really touched my heart. It was an amazing experience. And I, I think that's what it is. I think what I discovered is God in um, the people. And um, yeah, I think that's what happened to me. Hi guys, so I'm uh, Jake Ziegler. I'm an old boy from CBC Fremantle, graduated in 2009. So what have we been up to? Um, when we originally came to Peru, we just started off and got to know Peru as, as a country uh, and got to know its uh, people and its history. Um, so we went through the Truth and Reconciliation Museum, which was uh, quite powerful to see what had happened in the, in the past with Peru. Um, and we also saw Lima itself um, and the whole range of the city, so from the rich of the rich to the poor of the poor, and got to get in and, and experience those people. That was the first couple of days just to get to get comfortable with our environment um, then we really immersed ourselves with the people afterwards so we spent the next two days uh, in here with a fair, fair alegria uh, with a school um, and up in the hills we built a, uh, a wooden house for a family up there um, which was a great great experience to see everyone uh, we then moved off from that and we then went out to Hikamaku where we then built another house up there. This time it was well helped uh, with the construction of a house. So this was a concrete house up there. And we actually stayed with the family out there, which was, which was amazing uh, to get in and really get to know who they are, uh, the Peruvian people, who they are and how they operate and their, their tight-knit family group. Um, and then now we've ended up with today here with the children. Uh, they've been singing the songs, group volleyball tournaments, uh, just getting, again, getting to know who they are and what their culture is like and really experience and, and uh, rejoice in who, in who they are. And it's, it's been great. It's been an amazing, amazing experience. Hi, my name's Tony. I graduated last year uh, from CBC Fremantle. So we built two houses, a wooden house here in Canto Grande and another house up in Hikamaka, uh, which was concrete. 
So difficulties we found was the immediate one is the language barrier. And it's, it's really hard when you're trying to build a house and they're asking for screws in a different language and you have no clue what they're saying. So it took a while to adjust to that, but after that it was fine and things went smoothly. Other than that, probably walking up all the stairs to the house on the hill gave a lot of kids sore legs the next day. And so moving on was the next was the concrete house up in Higamaka, which was probably my favourite experience. So there we got to work closely with lots of Peruvian people and really were in solidarity with them, which is one of the touchstones of Edmund Rice. And that really, I really felt something there and it was a great experience. Even though we're separated by uh, the, one of the biggest oceans on the planet, in fact we come from the other side of the world, um, that we share a common dreams and hopes. And even though we find ourselves in different circumstances, uh, what impresses me most is the, the enthusiasm and enjoy the joy that I find in everyone that we've been with here this week. So I think uh, that's what I've learnt the most so far this thing is that you can find true happiness and peace in every part of the planet. So uh, I guess it's changed in a lot of ways but um, most importantly it's uh, sort of reminded me and, and taught me that there, there is really beautiful people in the world and um, you know there's at the bottom of everyone regardless of your circumstance and regardless of what you've been uh, situation you've been placed into everyone's striving for that same little thing and um, you know it's really reminded me to have that gratefulness and that humility when I go home and return to all the things I've been blessed with but um, you know take, keeping in mind there's a lot of people around the world that aren't you know as blessed and have the things that you know we've grown up with and things we take for granted all the time so um, yeah it is, it, it is changed in that respect and it is going to make me super more appreciative of the things I need to when I get home but also keeping in mind that these people aren't you know poor like we thought we're coming out here to see and uh, they do make the most of everything they have and I think it's important to remember all the little things and, and make sure we get back to what's important in life so it, it has been really good in that regard.